Hey there guys, this is Eugene from Review Outdoor Gear and I have a really cool deal to share with you guys today. Um, basically, recently I found out about this uh, tailoring service in, uh, online that does a very good job of tailoring shirts and they're quite low price, especially for your first shirt. Um, it's it's very basically 20 bucks for a shirt plus 10 bucks shipping and it takes about two and a half weeks to, to get it over So um, I found this website I've heard a little bit about it watched some videos on it And it was kind of hard for me to navigate it or just to figure out how to do everything on the website And I've kind of gone through the process and I just wanted to share with you guys what you can do um, To make sure that you you know you get the shirt that you want and it's right and it fits you Because um, I kind of made a mistake in the first one that I ordered but these guys have really good uh, customer service. I ended up emailing them and uh, they sent me another shirt that was adjusted because I apparently the shirt that I measured wasn't quite the, you know, uh, the good fit that I wanted or something was, didn't work out. So I ended up enlarging a couple sizes on the shirt. Um, I wanted to basically show you how to fill out the website uh, form and then a couple things about <clears throat> how to measure your shirt. Um, basically, there's a couple ways to do this. One way is if you know your size is exactly or you can measure your body Like if you don't have a, a well-fitting shirt, you can do that If you have a shirt already that fits you really nice Like you know, you've bought many shirts over the years and there's one that you just love um, that fits You know perfectly like it's fitted on the sides here and perfect lengths of sleeve and collar then it's actually best to take that shirt measure that shirt and uh enter those numbers into the, into the form. And you'll get what I'm talking about here after I show you the form. Now, um, the other thing that's important is that, you know, if you put that shirt on that you like, and there's just something that maybe is not slightly too small or too big, you can, you can adjust the sizes. So if your sleeve, for example, is kind of tight um, on your shirt when you fold your elbow, you bend your elbow there, um, you can add, you know, half an inch. Um, or you can do it in centimeters. There's two ways to uh, enter the, the lengths on this website. All right, guys, so here's the website. You just go to moderntailor.com. Once you get here, you can scroll down and you can see this little link here, trial shirt, and click on that. Once you get here, you get a couple choices, black, white, or blue. But you can see they're all 20 bucks, basically, 1995. I'm gonna go with the blue. And then it just shows you a close-up of the fabric and then the sizing of the fabric. Um, the size of you know the pattern on it. It's a very simple pattern. So I'm going to say choose this fabric, and then it takes you to this part. So here it says choose style, um, and you're going to have to choose a bunch of different things here. Um, so first you start with the collar. Now you can see, look at all the variety of collars you can choose. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with this widespread single button. That's kind of a, a nice stylish one. There's, you know, just this plain, this is probably a popular one here as well. Um, you know, if you want to button down, anyway, there's a bunch of choices here, but choose one. Um, there's some extra charges here if you want a collar lining. Um, well, actually this is free, collar lining. Uh, I'm gonna go with stiff. Removable collar stay, that's the little uh, pieces of plastic that go into the corners of your collar here. Um, you can have a removable one or a sewn in collar. I'm gonna have go with a sewn in collar stay and then you can add a different color to um, the actual collar um, so well, I'm not gonna do that I don't want to pay another five bucks and also you can choose a, to have a button on the back that's another five bucks I'm not gonna do that <clears throat> here we have sleeves and cuffs again a bunch of choices I'm just gonna go with a single button Cut corner, I like that style there. I'm gonna go with that. A uh, couple optional things here too. Of course you can have a short sleeve. So there's uh, cuffed short sleeves or plain short sleeves, so you can choose that. Um, you can have a different color cuff if you want to, that's another $5. Or you can have a different color inside of your collar or cuff. That's another thing, I'm gonna leave it all plain. But of course you have to add money for that. It looks just fine without having any of that. Next step, you choose your button color. I like this purple one here. It contrasts really nicely with that blue. Uh, you can just choose a white one or or a blue button to go with it. Whatever. Anyway, there's a couple options. Some of them are a little bit more. more you have to add in a two bucks for them. I'm not sure why. Anyway, choose a button here. Um, you you can also have you know a colored button hole, or you'd like if you want you can have colored button threads for another five bucks. But I'm not going to do any of that. 
Here we have pocket choices. You can have different types of pockets. I like the straight pocket and I'm gonna go with two pockets because um, I'm gonna actually use them on this shirt. So I'm gonna go with just nice pockets that are nice flat on the bottom. You can have curved, pointed, or uh, chamfered, whatever, angled cut. Um, another cool option, monogram. Oh, here too, you can have contrasted pockets, contrasted piece of a pocket, all of for some extra charge. Here you can have a monogram, so you can have you know your first, middle, last name, uh, ber uh, basically put or sewn onto your shirt for five bucks, and then you choose you can have it on your uh, pocket here, on your cuff, or on the placket uh, or plaque. I don't know how you say that placket of your of your shirt, um, and then you can type in what you want here. But I'm not going to have any of that. And then here um, you can choose how your front of your shirt's gonna look if you have the buttons showing or if they're gonna be covered with a, a bunch of choices here. Um, you can also here choose if you're normal fit, loose fit, or slim fit. It says please choose normal fit if you're using measurements from a well-fitting shirt. So if you're gonna do that, which I'm gonna do that, then just go with normal fit. And then here on the back, I'm just gonna choose the plain version. You can also have pleated two pleats, um, darts, or box pleat. I'm gonna keep it at just plain. And then here, the bottom of the shirt, I like it to be round. A um, Couple different options there. Okay, and then um, you can provide an image for reference if you need, if you have something special for a shirt that you want. But in this trial shirt, there's, if you wanna keep it at 30 bucks with shipping, there's not much you can add here. And then a label on the back of the collar. Yes, that's where it tells you the material and how to wash it and all that stuff. So then you go to measurements. Now I'm going to sign in, so I'm going to have a couple made up numbers here, but when you get to this page, um, basically you can choose centimeters or inches, whatever uh, you're, you're comfortable with. Then go get, at this point you want to get a ruler, and uh, you're going to have to measure, or actually a tape measure is probably even better, especially one of those flimsy ones if you can get one, um, but a little tape measure would work pretty well, or um, a long ruler would be good. Um, and then here, check this measuring guide out. I'm gonna also put a link of this in the description. But if you go to this measuring guide, they actually give you exactly how to measure all of this, um, all of these measurements. So choose your shirt, find a shirt that fits very well, and then you can take that shirt and actually measure that shirt to try to get the exact measurements transferred over to here. Now, if there's something on that shirt that you have that you like, You'd like it and then there's something that you'd like to improve on that shirt maybe there's um, a sleeve is too tight or something you can you can adjust that um, by you know maybe take off a half an inch or an inch on these measurements so that uh it can fit better so here it shows you how to measure all of the distances here's the half waist so you know say um say your sleeve is just a bit too short you know you want it to be maybe sticking out a little bit from under your uh, sport coat, but it's like not it's kind of up higher and you want it just a little bit longer You're gonna measure it from here to here But then maybe add an inch or half an inch whatever you think would would fix the problem with the shirt that you have Measure all of these things make sure that the shirt that you're doing it with fits and then go back to here And you can enter all of that here. So you want to uh, put your weight in here and pounds your your height and then you're gonna measure your collar um, you know your chest um, and you can change these by just you know half an inch, um, whatever whatever you you need, whatever it is exactly, and measure these things exactly like it says uh, has it up here in that guide. Um, and then you're gonna measure your waist, half hip. What's really cool here is you can have different sleeve lengths. So if you want, if one of your arms is longer than the other one, this is something very unique that you can you know have different sleeve lengths. Um, biceps, everything's the same. Cuffs, you can have one. You know, be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Um, maybe if you know, if you always wear a watch and you want, um, you know, your watch is on your right hand and um, you want it to fit under the sleeve, you can make it, you know, that diameter and or basically add a half inch to the cuff and to the diameter of the cuff there or circumference, I guess. Just really cool options like that. Make sure you measure everything out here. When you get to this part, you know, choose your um, your back. Is it, you know, do you have an average back, a really straight back, or bent over um, what's your sh shoulders like do they anyway just look at yourself in the mirror figure out what's going on here do you have a stomach or are you more flat or hefty anyway athletic built slim built all that stuff put that in here and then down in the bottom here um, you can enter 
some extra measurements if you'd like. So you can, you know, like I said, there's a half bicep and all that stuff, and you can you can put that stuff in here. And then you hit save, save profile. And uh, when you get through that, um, at this point, it's pretty straightforward. You can name that measurement something, and then um, just go add to cart. I'm going to order that shirt. Actually, I already did. Let's go pick it up. Oh, mailman. Thank you, sir. That was two weeks. That was quick. See you next time. All right, guys. Well, here's a shirt. Comes in a little flimsy package like this uh, from China. Let's open it up. I got my handy scissors here. Um, and let's check it out. Um, so this is what you get in the mail. Now, guys, each of these shirts, imagine it's, it's hand made just for you. Comes in a little cellophane package like this. Let's pull it out. I guess it's not cellophane, it's more of an acrylic. So there it is, modern tailor. Um, it has a collar kind of there for you. And uh, let's take this off. There's a couple clips on it. So there it is. And check it out. Modern Taylor. It says custom made for Eugene. Right there. Machine washable. So you're going to have to iron this shirt a little bit. It's got some nice creases in it that you'll have to iron out. Let's see what it looks like. Guys, I put the shirt on. I didn't iron it yet. You know, I will after I'm done uh, showing this to you guys, but uh, the shirt fits perfectly. And uh, I didn't tuck it in here, but um, let me take this jacket off real quick. So you can take a look. You know, all the measurements were taken off of a shirt that I liked and I did adjust a couple things. I wanted the sleeves a little bit more wide. I wanted a little bit of a, a larger collar. I took out some material here on the sides. It's just a very nicely fitted shirt. I got two pockets on it. Um, anyway, look at that. That is a nice fitting shirt. And you can have that for basically 10 bucks for your first shirt. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I wanted to say, Modern Taylor has provided me with a very cool link that will give you $20 off of your first purchase. Um, there's a link in the description. If you go down there and click that, it'll give you a uh, coupon code basically that you can use to get 20 bucks off of your uh, off of your purchase and if you're getting this shirt for the first time it's called a trial shirt you will be able to basically pay for shipping as far as I understand and pay 10 bucks for a shirt and that is unheard of I mean 30 bucks for a custom tailored shirt I think is amazing and uh, if you get it for 10 bucks I mean that you just must get a shirt and then the next one will be more expensive I think they're 80 bucks for the net for the second shirt um, but just make sure you get the sizes right, like I showed you there, and um, I think you guys are going to be happy. Uh, leave your comments and questions below, and hopefully uh, everything will work out for you. Ask me questions and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Eugene with Review Outdoor Gear.